All right, and once again to the final battles of Newbie Rumble 12. Welcome, welcome. We're just gonna start right off. We've got the Pugnacious by Blunder Guy facing off against the CL15 by AL. You Battle of stream. <laughs> Our stream is active. Oh, right. Discord stream. There we go. Alright, we've got the CL15. We all know and love it. Got those guns below waterline. And our resident backsider, the Pugnacious. The so hell yeah, spawn just... that we all love. <laughs> yeah. Or some. I oh, guess. it's just. I feel like the Pugnacious is immediately going. Oh no, it's turning back in. I was about to say it's immediately going to, into backsiding position. <laughs> Screw the whole frontsiding idea, I'm backsiding you now. Currently it's winning. Oh, that's. That looks painful though. There's gonna be some AI stuff. Lambs. Now that. That's just detection, munition warners and stuff from there. Also damage looking... It's mostly hitting empty spaces or shattering against the armor plating. The CL-15 is taking a beating. But we all know what can happen with the Pugnacious sometimes. And I have a feeling it is happening right now. Oh, never mind. Turning back in again. Proving me wrong immediately. I like that it, it, it got a DQ point for moving backwards there, I think. It got that DQ point right at the start, I believe. I oh, just okay. didn't mention it at all. The CL15, let's look at what damage is it is taking. The guns all seem fine. Well, cope. I say that, and they are not anymore. I I should just not comment on the state of the vehicle anymore, I think. It, it's not a wise idea. I'll just jinx it anyways. The Pugnacious is doing good. I jinx it, I'm waiting. Yes, kidding. Oh, the laser turned off again. Oh. And it's on again. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it just it's works. Again. And it's on again. <laughs> The curse of tournament yeah. hosts. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the Pignacious to backside this. But I don't think it will. Now, because we do know how this ended last time, and the Pignacious did win, but it was a close fight. This time looks like it's a little, a little bit less close. Forgot how to speak there for a second. The Pugnacious is going back and forth, back and forward, just, yes. He is doing this. And it's, oh, it's wiggling around with its turning props too. Right, it's moving forward again. Maybe it'll overshoot the point of no return eventually and just backside. Wouldn't that be hilarious? That would be uh, very funny. Oh, there goes another turret. I think all turrets on top are just gone now. Yes. On the CL-15, which... Isn't the which best. Is, yeah, it's not the best for CL-15. All of the turrets uh, underneath are still firing, though. Yeah, they they seem to have taken no damage down on the caps. They're probably closer to taking damage up here, actually. Like, yeah, this, this, yeah. this layer of alloy, another meter, and stone. Okay, yeah, they, they, they are well protected. 
so they're not instantly going to die or anything, but... Eventually, the pugnacious will break through there. And even so, three-fifths of your firepower removed? That's not really helpful. The pugnacious changing what side the lo is currently getting hit again. And reversing. The sound of the laser is currently being funny. Okay, yeah, the lamps is just absolutely demolishing any incoming fire, though. Yeah, that burr sound is just getting annoying. Okay, yeah, that sea was too. It, it is getting kind of annoying sometimes. It is looks this the first barrel in a wall where the uh, Pugnacious hasn't backsided the, um, the enemy? Yeah. I mean, I did just record the uh, Battle Royale and it did backside in that battle too. It spent like half the battle chasing the Reaper tour around with its back pointed at it. Quite a funny battle. You should probably look at it if I do upload it. Which I'll probably do together with this video after we're done recording it, of course. Now CL15 just has waiting. almost lost all of its uh, all of its superstructure. Yeah, it's just dropping down. Ignatius is really like a health spawn. It is just so defensive, it is hard to actually deal significant damages to it. Just look at how protected this thing is after all. Like, Jesus. It's just armor with gun. Armor with defensive weapon systems and gun. Sea with gun. The only thing that thing is lacking though is uh, not backsliding. Backward, yeah, the backsliding and the weapons backwards. Yeah. And the ability to actually move forward constantly. <laughs> I, I think it's meant to move like this. That's intentional. Yeah. Just doing the front side of thing where it might have still got a chance to throw off shots or something, I guess. I think this is what the uh, uh, what the pugnacious uh, what the pugnacious uh, breadboard is supposed to do, but yeah, it just messed up and uh, went backwards instead for some reason before. Yeah, this looks a lot like how it's supposed to perform, I think, but mm. it's but not. I, I actually wait. I actually don't think because uh, that thing is um, because of how it moves. I think it goes through a, a hover AI, which wants to go backwards for for uh, reasons and whenever the AIs. enemy isn't close enough the thing goes backwards towards the thing to get close but the enemy is just getting further away i f i think blunderga even said it was breadboard controlled entirely so that's not gonna be it but well yeah because the, because the movement is is just so close to the hover Oh, Pugnacious is almost out of materials, but didn't even notice for a moment there. But it is almost out of mats. Oh god. In which case, it still has shells in its ammo storage still. The APS clips. Yeah. Wonder if the thing still flows without resources. I think it does. It looks like mostly roll control. Makes sense that it still floats without resources. In the yeah, tournament, yeah. focus around. Buoyancy. True. It barely floats. Okay, never mind. It does float quite it well. It does float. That's just that it doesn't have stabilization anymore now. 
so it's kind of just rolling a bit more. Yeah, and the uh, and the sea wheeze is completely out. Yeah, I think it just the uh, lambs just went less down. Mm. I think the lambs were supposed to stop actually working at like 4,000 materials left or something. Blunder guy said it shouldn't burn as many materials anymore at some point. Mm. It, how how is the CL15 looking by the way? I mean it's looking like it's just a floating it, hull. It, oh I even see some targets. Got the, um, it still got both of its uh, under guns left. Yeah the under slung guns are still there. Which I find and quite they are funny. Do, they, are doing, they are doing good work. They are still trying to do damage but yeah, 25 but seconds is not gonna be enough. Yeah. No way. If they, if it doesn't hit anything critical. Yeah. Which is by that really critical. All the guns, the ammo, the entire AI. Yeah. If it if they manage to somehow take out both guns instantly now, they it might have a chance, but I really really doubt it. No, uh, the guns probably is just ten K. Yeah. And there we go, the CL fifteen lost. CL fifteen lost this one. But it wasn't a bad fight, that's for sure. Quite torn up, the hull itself took the beating very well though. A nicely mm. protected ship. Mm. That that thing can take a beating and still fire. Yeah. And yeah, let's just move on to the next battle. Just gotta check what that battle actually is. Ah, no look at that. We've got the Feldspar facing against the Weep 2 TE. We part two tournament edition. I just forgot that name for a moment. Feldspar's gotta be there. Bit fire up, I want to say. Onward we go. Okay, yeah, we've got the Feldspar, the very narrow boat with four relatively sizable cramps and the Wii part 2 which won this engagement last time I'll spoil that much because it's one, just one, wonder if, yeah wonder if the Wii, Wii part 2 is just gonna go ramming into again that would be so funny if it just rammed again and I think it will with how the AI is set up hmm Who you know needs what that kind of <laughs> annoys me though? L looking at it from this angle, look at the textures. Mm. Oh, oh god! Yeah, it's it's, go it's, it's going for. Uh, it's turning back for that ram. Yeah, it's getting its those, bow demolished. Those frag, those frag cramps are just destroying it. Yeah, but I do remember the Weeper two being able to actually penetrate the armor of the feldspar without much of a problem so yeah looking at the weeper oh wait a moment the, the guns all just turned the... back the guns all just turned the, back did the, 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 the AI just die? I just checked it's not AI yeah. dead but oh they all uh, it took out one of the it took out oh. the thing that controls I think yeah the... it, it took out the control the transmitter, I think. The tra yeah, transmitter is what it's called. God dang it. Bay so the AI thing. is still alive, but the transmitter isn't, so nothing's gonna fire. Yeah, that's a quick one. We can just leave this one to the Wii part 2, I think. Because, like, there will be no return fire. And just look at how it's gutting the internals with those ABS shells. Look at that. Yeah, we can definitely leave this to the Wii part 2. Very quick kill. Surprised the AI itself survived. Right, what's the next battle? Battle 32. Oh, Discord? What is Discord up to? Ah, oh, it's just pings. Battle 33. The Pugnacious facing off against the loser of Battle 32, which is the Feldspar. Oh, this that is was a not... very that was a very close fight last time, and it was a very funny fight too. Yeah. 
it, it would be funny if the uh, <laughs> if the pugnacious just backsides it now. Yes, exactly. And because the AI is in because the AI and the engines are in the back, right? Yeah, exactly. The pugnacious has all the important parts in the back. And if Pugnacious the Phelps was small, made, but, yeah, the Pugnacious is small, but tanky as hell. <coughs> can take a lot of hits, but but whenever it backsides, it's the back is like the weak dead. spot. It's like the Ach Achilles heel. Yeah, but uh, the thing is that the the back is so heavily armored, though. Only from this one angle back here, it isn't. Yeah, from that, and all yeah. the active defensive aren't. Acting mm. that back there too, so it's kind of like the dead uh, dead spot for it. Mm. For now, yeah, it is <laughs> just raining the battle though, because mm. the Feldspar really can't engage it because of all those defenses. Mm. But uh, the Felds, the Pugnacious, because of uh, um, uh, the uh, usage of the lamps. Look at the materials. It is draining them very quickly, but... Once the materials are out, the uh, Pugnacious is out. Sort of, That's how yes. it works, right? Yeah, we could be, but... That... Yeah. Okay, the Pugnacious now is constantly moving away. So far. It's losing a few blocks here and there due to the frags. Yeah. Nothing actually notable though, but... Well, it, at least it's some damage. Actually, let's just... I think one crab gun, this one looks too small, so it's out, I do believe. Yeah. No, so try to bow out, ones are fine. But yeah, mm -hmm. probably not out, just get, get rid of its... Uh, the damage output is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not firing yeah. any actual shells anymore. Pugnacious went down to 99.9. .9. The Pugnacious is... Okay, this is funny as hell now. The Pugnacious is trying to backside. And the Feldspot shows the wrong direction to move it. So they are just gonna go around in a circle like this. This is now going to be a broadsiding battle, which the Pugnacious will win so far. If not the uh, resources. <coughs> yeah, exactly. If the resources don't run out before. It lost 8,000 in, un in under... Um, in under 2.5 seconds, so... Minutes, not seconds. Minutes, cutting it. Me, me no words sometimes. English language art. Me no speak. Same. But yeah, so far the Feldspar is not doing so well. It could have had the same thing as what happened last time. If it wasn't doing that... If it was doing Maybe. what it is doing. Mm. I do think the angle is slowly increasing though on the Pugnacious, so maybe it can get very lucky. Just gotta take a sip of my drink too. But, but the uh, the Pugnacious is, is uh, turning faster than the uh, Feldspar is. Yeah, it's, the Pugnacious is out turning it, so the Pugnacious will doom itself. Maybe the Feldspire has, has a few weapons left until then. Currently looks like it's got two out of four cramps left. It's got a whole lot of way through. Mm. Fortunately not where anything important was. Oh, that's another cram gone I think. Oh, no it's still firing, never mind me. But yeah, the Feldspar is just dropping. And it's not really getting out of that weapon angle either. Even still. Now what the Feldspar should be doing here now is actually just... I think all of the crowns are gone. No, one nope, is... Nope, two. Two, two are still in the game. In the game. Alive. Oh, well, one just died. So it, we only have one still actually firing. I think. Yeah, one is still firing shells. As long as that one tram is working, it technically has a chance to deal damage. And the yeah. battle keeps going. Yeah. 
It is just getting absolutely ripped into though, so... Mm. It's really just a question of time until that cram is gone to What lambs does on MF? Yeah. I'm 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 just I'm I'm just really How how do you say it? Hmm, it's quite interesting how uh, how a blunder guy managed to fit two APS systems LAM systems and anti uh, oh anti-missile systems and that much of armor. It is a very small vehicle. To okay. be fair, yeah. Okay, it's it has backsided it. It's backsiding now. But now it's gonna just is keep the angle. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, there has to be some detection left. The turret looks like it's aiming normally still, so yeah. things are looking all right. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yes. yeah, it is. It is still doing damage. Four minutes left to go. This one crab has a mission. The Feldspar is fast enough to stay at the distance, I think. And maintain this angle. There is a chance. Yeah, both screws are still running. If Ignatius uh, is not losing materials as fast anymore. Yeah, it's... So actually the ACB or whatever it is that turns off the engine for lamps is mm. working. No, I don't think the lamps are turned off. It's just that he can't hit back it they, I mean blunder guy said that the lamps turn off at some point yeah they just did that I think they 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 should because yeah the resources. material burn is massive so yeah, the lamps will probably empty the storage and not recharge anymore how much is the amount that you start with during the battles 20,000 20, yeah 20 k yeah, it's 20k. Mm. The Pugnacious went through most of that. The Feldspar still has more than half of it left. And unless the Feldspar gets like an AI kill with this one tram, it's not really realistically going to win. 69% health though on the Feldspar. Nice. Let's wait until it's 69.4. It's, uh, we got a hope. We have a dream. 420 materials left on the Pugnacious at that same moment. Just for the memes. Le funny. Actually, let's just have a look at the Pugnacious situation. Mm. Okay, also add more protection. And there comes the engine. I think the AI is like, oh yeah, it's, it's deep in here, below the engine. Yeah. Mm. So like, the, but the yeah, chances um, the, are low. The, the Pugnacious is a, is a, like, kind of living, uh, It's a walking... A living meme. thing that, 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 that shows that you need to test your vehicles completely before you put them in. Yeah, even... I mean, Blunder guy apparently did testing and it never did this before. This is just funny. You have rigged the, the pugnacious AA. Clearly, I have. Too much defense. Get balanced. Get trolled, pugnacious. You have you have an AA cannon. You didn't have enough AA weaponry and too many <laughs> lambs. Be gone. I like. <laughs> the Pugnacious is taking like no damage on those crams. I mean, it's probably because this one cram that it still has, the Feldspar. It's, yeah. it's got like a few holes. Yeah, I don't think that's very good for for, for it. I, f I don't think that's healthy. But, well, no help. you never know. People say lung cancer isn't healthy either, but you just develop more health, more things, cells. Yep, 
Yeah, okay, 20 seconds left. I think the Krem will fire like... Oh, it, it did fire oh. there. Some detection or something. Yeah, it's, it's hit the detection current up there. 96%! I don't think that does, don't think that does much um, to the formations that can't fire anyways. Yeah, true. 96%! Yeah. Please stay at that, so we've got 69 and 96. Hell yeah! Yes! Perfection! What a meme of a battle, but... Congratulations to Pugnacious on winning this one again. Even though backsiding, winning at 96% against a cram vehicle. Truly impressive. Alright. Yeah, the, the, the Pugnacious is, is really he a health song. <coughs> Sorry about that. Good. I am alive. Congrats. Okay, so Next we... battle. I think we did just have battle 33, so... We've got the finals now. We've got, once again, the Weep 2 GE, the Weep R2 Tournament Edition, versus the Pugnacious. So this is so far the exact same that it was before. Let's see if this battle takes the same result too. Alright, back to the Pugnacious, because... Oh, the Wii part is losing health fast. I mean, the Wii part is the big wood. Yeah. It cannot really lose health. It, it just doesn't. What you call health is actually just... the 30 layers of wood that it doesn't care about. What frag does on MF? Truly. Okay, it's getting shelled through too. And it's just getting closer. We part two on the mission. I, I don't I, I think both are gonna get hurt if it if it tries to ram it. Indeed. Oh, yeah, it's 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 going for it. It's going it for is it. so going for that ram. Or just very close drive by. I think it's gonna pass it front very closely. Yeah. Which, like, it's still funny. Lamps my shells on this range, you bro. Okay, yeah, it's, it's actually just drifting by right in front of it. Yeah, but the lamps are doing well. Yeah, the lamps are actually doing it still. How did you make such good lamps, Blunder? The lamps are just straight OP. They're just godlike. <laughs> Nothing that can't be zapped. Okay, it's not backsiding yet, it's turning back to front side again. That can very quickly change, of course. Oh, there's some ERA in the water. A minor inconvenience at most. And here comes the V part 2 again. It is approaching. Actually, the V part 2 has lost more materials than the Pugnacious. So it's gotta have to have some material containers broken. Must have got some broken, yeah. Again, we've got this very close drive by style of battle that the V part 2 does so well. Oh, and it's taking some damage on its barrels. It's not getting behind the Pugnacious, which would be the one way to actually just win instantly, pretty much. But the battle's also gonna keep going for another seven minutes, near me nearly. So, who knows? So far, aside from one of the barrels taking some hits... The laser actually doing something for once. <laughs> yeah, the laser too, because there's no smoke. Uh, yeah. Except for that one, I guess. That just got popped. Forget I said that there's no smoke. 
There is smoke. Okay, the turret caps are actually getting really beaten up though. Now the vote actually went that we should use the results of these recorded battles. So, if the Pugnacious wins this one, that's what we're gonna be using. Although... Oh, the Weeper 2 is holding right straight... It's holding straight for its bow. Oh, both lost their bows. Entirely. Actually, just, just a short question. Yes, the turning props barely survived that. The Pugnacious remains capable of turning. It would have been funny if it just couldn't turn anymore, because it couldn't backside anymore at that point. How does a wee part 2 turn actually? Oh, it's got a big, big rudder back here. Makes sense. Might use a big rudder too. On the bottom. Oh boy. <clears throat> Our Pugnacious is getting low on materials. The lamps should soon stop existing. And after that, there is a chance. A chance that the Wii Part 2 actually deals notable damage with its APS. Oh boy. Warning slightly ahead, I'm going to cough again. <coughs> Jesus, I hate this. Oh! Oh, the Pugnacious is going! At the 4 minute time mark, it is... it has a plan. The question is if it's going to actually get to the backsliding position. Because... The angle isn't very favorable with how the Wii Part 2 is approaching. And the lamps are still going too, I guess, so. It's a bit problematic for the Pugnacious running out of materials. <coughs> the optimization on the Pugnacious is actually impressive with how long it can run. Like, it runs out of materials just barely before the end of the battle. And it's got some shells in the APS left, so the APS can constantly fire. Oh, the angle's increasing. I think the Pugnacious is getting there. Yes. Yes. Done. It's happening. It's going for the ram. It is going to ram the ramming vehicle. Ram the rammer. Who's gonna ram harder? Yep, I I think the uh, the Wii Part Two uh, would uh, will uh, if it. Hit. Oh God, it's it, it is going for the ram. It yeah, it is, but it's barely missing. Yeah. Which actually means that they can now do damage again. Funnily enough. It did take engine damage from this one though. And it's nearly out of materials. With the burn rate severely dropping now, but still. This actually looks like the Pugnacious might be winning it. No, no! It's happening. Oh, yeah, there, oh. there goes the ram. There it is. There it is. Yep. Oh, the back turret is not having the correct angle anymore. Oh. oh, what is this? Oh, the, they can't shoot either? Oh, come on. Please, game. Okay, thank God. It's shooting again. 
Ooh, right on the gun. Right on the gun, yeah. Still, the, the health difference right now looks a lot like the Pugnacious will win this. Yeah, the Pugnacious. It just has this oh. massive advantage now. Oh, oh, the ramming continues. The grinding. And in this situation, the Pugnacious is AI is down there too. One minute left, this might be able to turn. This might still turn, yeah. Which is the most impressive part, probably. Oh no, it's. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's not gonna turn around anymore. Unless the AI yeah. randomly gets hit. Because the Weeper 2 did just get out. Yeah, because, from because that the AI is, is exposed. Yeah, but it's only this like minimal little edge here. It's a two yeah, block but the, the, wide. Um, uh, the shells are frag. Frag HE, I think. Oh, that's, that one got close. Yep. Oh, it's 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 not much more left. There's like. There's a. Oh no. The, uh, no, the. Uh... The Pugnacious will quite probably win this. The chances are it will win, yeah. Yeah. Yes! The so Pugnacious won, but so barely. It was such a close battle, it... It, it could have ended right here. Like... It oh, look at this! It even took an explosion to, he to this part here. Oh! Oh my god! God, wait, this look, was. Wait, look at the. Oh my God! It, I it is wait, so it close have, to it death. It has dual AIs, right? I don't think it has. This is. It might have, but still. Because that looks like an A A A AI. The uh, the other one that was in the, in there too also got taken out. This might be the AI AI. I don't know. But yeah, this is this is such a close win. Holy shit! Yeah. But yeah, congratulations, Blunder guy. Impressive optimization on the vehicle finally paid off. And yeah, I think that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all will enjoy Newbie Rumble Thirty when it starts on February fifth. I think. Yep. Yes. Do hope there's some more people building for that. If so, mm -hmm. feel free to ask in the comments even for the link to the Discord server if you do want to build and just can't find it anywhere else. And yeah, that's it with the video and New Rumble 12. Goodbye.